Good day everyone, today we will be going to discuss the pillars of education and UNESCO role in education that is presented by the good team. But first, let us meet the group. Rachel and Dina Risma, Andrea Basuwas, Annabelle C. Cabatuan, Charmaine C. Calvo, Jorna Grazel Centino, and Darjin Q. Permanis. The Four Pillars of Education is a suggested structure for education to UNESCO from the International Commission on Education for the 21st Century to address students throughout life as a key to meet the demands of the 21st century. This framework is a teaching tool to help educators develop and understand what their students need to learn and be progressive. Over the years, there have been debates at national and international level over a range of issues concerning the redefinition of desirable competency in planned curriculum change and the identification or the selection of key competencies required of all learners. And these four pillars of learning are much relevant to curriculum change as they embody a set of new competencies to be inculcated among all learners in an emerging knowledge-based society. So what are the four pillars of education? First is the learning to know. Second is the learning to live together. And the third is the learning to be. Fourth, or the last one, is the learning to do. And let us discuss it one by one. So the first pillars of education is learning to know. It requires the acquisition and development of knowledge and skills necessary for interaction in the world. This is acquiring the ability to comprehend economic issues and seek solutions for them. It also implies learning on how to learn by developing one's concentration, memory, skills, and ability to think. People have to learn to understand the world around them by combining a sufficiently broad general knowledge with the opportunity to work in depth on a small number of subjects. This is also means learning to learn or autonomous learning as a benefit from the opportunities education provides throughout life. As a result of learning, the person is transformed to become more enlightened, empowered, and more enriched. Learning to know helps individual first develop values and skills for respecting and searching for knowledge and wisdom. Second, acquire a taste for learning throughout life. Third, develop critical thinking. Fourth, acquire tools for understanding the world. Fifth, create a curious mind or learner. And the last one is understand sustainability concepts and issues. So to summarize, it helps with the knowledge and information needed to work in a globalized information society and knowledge economy and the tools for learning how to learn and to independently acquire knowledge. Next is learning to live together. Developing skills such as social development and how to respect others and understand one another. It is work for the common good with other fellow humans. It calls for showing respect for themselves and others. Learning to live together in peace and harmony is a dynamic, holistic, and lifelong process through which the shared values are internalized and practiced. The process begins with development of inner peace in the minds and hearts of individuals engaged in the search of truth, knowledge, and understanding. Education should adapt to complementary approaches from early childhood. First is discovery of other people in the first stage of education, and second, encourage involvement in the common projects. Learning to live together helps individuals to first 
Learn appropriately with others is important in our everyday lives from life in the school, family, and community to the special problems of adolescence relationships. Next, Learn to live together in the wider society requires awareness of and respect for human rights and responsibilities of local, national, and global citizenship. Lastly, learn to live together as responsible citizens that can help reduce tensions due to the ethnic or other divisions and social disparities which contribute to the instability or civil conflict seen in many nations today. Number three, learning to do would help individuals to participate in the global economy and society effectively. To operate effectively in one's environment is a creative requirement. Next is this describes that students learn best when they apply what they are already familiar with. Learning under this pillar goes beyond preparing students for work but it must instill the skills they acquire in school into their capability. Last is, hence it is needed that education must allow the advancement of occupational knowledge and a combination of skills and talents, behavior patterns, personal initiative, and desire to work, thus preparing students both in the world of work and throughout life. Number four, Learning to be. Learning to be enables holistic personal advancement of individuals and attain comprehensive personality. This is an indication of the development of attitude and love for global citizenship. The framework suggests that our current self is an involving human being. It is also important to have the freedom to choose as this is a necessary step in becoming when one thinks of life as a series of decisions, then learning to be is creating and making each decision and more positive choice for personal and holistic development. So learning to be helps individual to first receive in their childhood and youth an education that equips them to develop their own independent, critical way of thinking and judgment so that they can make of their own minds on the best courses of action in the different circumstances in their lives. And second, in that connection, education must not disregard any aspect of a person's potential, memory, reasoning, aesthetic sense, physical capacities, and communication skills. So next, how to implement this in, into your future class? So let as discuss or give an activities one by one. First, for learning to know, since the definition is implies the learning on how to learn by developing one's concentration, memory skills, and ability to think, the example for that or example activities is the puzzles. Because Puzzle improve memory and strengthen the connection between brain cells and create new connections for improved cognitive speed. And for read aloud questions, uh, this allows students to think, wonder, and make concentration in this activity. So the next is learning to live together. So by the definition, it develops the skills as such as the social development and how to respect others and understand one another. So example for this is the role play activities because it helps the students practice communication and social skills in a safe, non tethering environment and also considering those different perspectives and develop empathy by seeing how their decisions might affect others by solving social problems and explore new ideas. Next is for learning to do, it would help individuals to participate in a global economy and society effectively. This also 
uh, effectively or effective in one's environment in a creative requirement. So example for this is the mock job interview or job interview because this makes the student's decision about their desired jobs in the near future that will also make them prepared. And for the last is the learning to be. This enables holistic personal advancement of individuals and attain comprehensive personality. An example for this is an essay about home and school uh, things because uh, it makes them know or explore their ideas holistically. So by that, the four pillars guarantees a complete education. Compare and contrast. First, learning to know. To know the learning and development of information and skills necessary to function in the real world. It must be part of human development throughout its existence will become effective learning of their activities and people. Second, learning to live together. The discovery of the other people allows to know each other better because it involves acting in the field of attitudes and values such as respect and concern for others, social and interpersonal abilities, and an understanding of people's differences. Third, learning to do. To know the solution necessitates a large amount of participation as well as assisting individuals in efficiently participating in the global economy and society. Fourth, learning to be. It solidifies and harmonizes the pillars in order to maintain in the human being's integrity. The individual throughout life to develop learning to know, learning to do, learning to live together, and learning to be of the world. A person's continued development on a societal and global scale, it educates individuals as members of society or the global village, allowing them to develop the so social responsibility required to make the world a better place to live. This said, the four pillars of education should guide the actions of educators to develop learning appropriate to the transformations experienced from reality. They also support for an individual's holistic development with skills to argue offer vision opinions as opposed to debating the issue with logical reasoning and reaching the final judgment. Learning to know leads to an understanding of the world around him that four pillars of learning absorb to all levels and aspects of education. The basic principles, cross-cutting themes, and generic skills can be used for integration and across topic areas for learning domains because they interpret, penetrate, and support one another. So the four pillars of education are defined as learning that allows the students to take a journey from continuous learning throughout life to learning to live together in peace and harmony in the globalizing world. And the process is one of improving oneself to reach the individual's potential as a human being. And the journey is toward respecting and appreciating individuals' differences due to a commitment to build peaceable and caring communities. So let's talk about UNESCO mission is to contribute to the building of a culture of peace, the eradication of poverty, sustainable development, and intercultural dialogue through education, the sciences, culture, communication, and information. UNESCO believes that education is a human right for all throughout life and that access must be matched by quality. The organization is the only United Nations agency with a mandate to cover all aspects of education.
it has been entrusted to lead the Global Education 2030 Agenda through Sustainable Development Goal 4. The roadmap to achieve this is the Education 2030 Framework for Action. UNESCO provides global and regional leadership in education, strengthen education system worldwide and respond to contemporary global challenges through education with gender equality and underlying principle. Its work encompasses education, development from preschool to higher education and beyond. Themes include global citizenship and sustainable development, human rights and gender equality. It supports countries to develop develop and expand educational activities that focus on sustainable issues such as climate change, biodiversity, disaster risk reduction, water, cult cultural diversity, sustainable urbanization, and sustainable lifestyle through ESG. Link is external. UNESCO also monitors that and evaluates progress on sustainable development goal indicators that the extent to which citizenship education and education for sustainable development are mainstream in national education policies, curricula, teacher education, and student assessment. Dialogue among civilization, cultures, and people based upon respect for commonly shared values. It is through this dialogue that the world can achieve global vision of sustainable development encompassing of servants of human rights, mutual respect, and the alleviation of poverty, all of which are at the heart of UNESCO mission and activities. Objective Attaining quality education for all and lifelong learning. Mobilizing science, knowledge, and policies for sustainable de development. Addressing emerging social and ethical challenges. Fostering cultural diversity, intercultural dialogue, and a culture of peace. Building inclusive knowledge societies through information and communication. The United Nations and UNESCO have played and continue to play an important role in promoting modern framework in education as a new pedagogical concept that introduces international understanding through the four pillars of education, more program, projects, studies, and activities can be created to help an individual understand and care more about the world beyond his or her community and transcend their culturally conditioned, ethnocentric perspective, perception, and behavior. Develop a pace forward by promoting a culture of peace, recognition, and interdependence the inclusion of shared responsibility for the protection of the earth and acknowledgement of common humanity. So that's all. Thank you. Do you have any questions for us? And if not, thank you and God bless us all.